Margaret Preston was born on the 29th of April 1875 in Port Adelaide. She was an Australian painter and printmaker. She is considered a leading example and the country's most important early modernist and the foremost female painter in Australia between the wars. Margaret first became interested in art at the age of 12. She studied at the National Gallery of Victoria Art School from 1889 to 1894. Five years later, she opened her own teaching studio in Adelaide. She first gained recognition in the 1920s and gained international recognition in 1937. Her artworks range from colourful, bold, still-life prints and paintings to urban impressions. Her still lifes were subjected to native and introduced Australian flowers, while her urban impressions were of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, Sydney's Mossman area and other areas. She was determined and enthusiastic about life, known for as well as her bold, unique artwork, work, her strident views, sharp tongue, fiery temper and uncompromising personality. In 1894, Preston was nominated for Fellowship of the South Australian Society of Arts. In 1923, her work was included in the Australian Art Exhibition London, London in, and in 1941, three of her artworks appeared in the Exhibition Art of Australia, shown in the US and Canada. She also had many solo exhibitions. Her best-known works are the va vases of Australian flowers, animals and birds, and the colourful woodcut views of Sydney Harbour, produced in the 1920s. She was renowned for her unique, bold, vibrant decorative prints and paintings, and developed a truly unique Australian style of Australian modernism. Her influences were traditional art that she'd seen or studied through travels, including Aboriginal art and also Australian subjects such as birds, animals, flowers and landscapes. She experimented with several various techniques and materials such as wood engravings and etchings, gouge paint and liner cuts. Margaret Preston drew on artistic and cultural influences from many different countries. Her emergence as one of Australia's most powerful Australian modernists is linked to her extensive studies and travels through Europe in 1901 through to 1919. This led to Preston's artistic revelations and critical thinking. Preston produced an impressive amount of over 400 still life paintings, decorative works, ceramics, prints and domestic artworks. She also left behind a legacy that redirected the future of Australian art, exemplifying a new unique er era in the history of Australian art in the 1920s and 30s, and in the 1940s and 50s was considered by many as one of the country's most significant landscape artists. Her career spanned over 70 years and she died at the age of 88. Many of her artworks are now held in the Australian art institutions all over Australia, including the National Gallery of Australia, the Art Gallery of New South Wales and many others. Writing was also very important to Margaret. She wrote several extensive essays vindicating the need to develop an Australian artistic style. Margaret wrote in her essay, Arts for Crafts. Australia must honestly confess to having no designs of her own. Taking native flowers, etc., of any country and twiddling them into unique forms will never give a national decorative art. With eyes that know the darkness in my soul, shadows on the hills, sketch the trees. She also promoted this unique vision of a new modern Australian artistic style through Asian and European traditions combined with the influence of Aboriginal art, which she thought of as one of the world's greatest art traditions. Throughout her life, she was a leading example of art, not just for Australia, but also for women. During a time when men had dominated the past of art, she became the very first female artist to paint a self-portrait in 1929 by the Art Gallery of New South Wales. She also won a silver medal at the Paris International Exhibition in 1937 and published From Eggs to Electra Lux a feminist modernist autobiographical essay published in 1927. Her art was also very important for Aboriginals. Although the inclusion of Aboriginal icons in her works is thought to be exploitive and insensitive to some, others were affected by her work very positively. Margaret enforced part of the Aboriginal culture on mainstream society at a time when Aboriginal people and their values and beliefs were devalued by white people in Australian society. Whether people agree or not with her work, dislike it or like it, the fact that her art is significant to the history of Australia cannot be denied. Her creations were unlike any other artists of her time and even today she remains unique 
to modern day artworks. Much of her significance was pro produced between the wars. Australia was searching to solidify its reputation and were looking for a true Australian identity through their people. Margaret, through her commitment and perseverance, joined in the quest to develop a national identity artistically, and it is said she succeeded. Perhaps they'll listen 